News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukat Ali. And a very good morning to you. This is Newsline, live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Clambo and uh, broadcasting on TV One, part, of course, of the Capital Maharaja Group. Now then, on this uh, rather uh, dodgy morning in terms of weather, um, although it didn't really rain, um, to discuss uh, the intense uh, disaster relief operation and the invaluable uh, service that the uh, armed forces, the tri forces, are uh, providing the people of this country is uh, Brigadier Roshan Seniviratna. Good morning to you, Brigadier. And also joining us from a uh, public perspective is uh, that inimitable lawyer. Uh, and Mr. Heyman Tawana Kulusure. Good morning to you. Good morning, for us. Good And morning. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen, for being here. Now then, um, Brigadier, the, once more we can see our troops coming to the end of our country. Um, how many troops have you actually got on the, on the ground there helping with the disaster relief? For us, the initial uh, call came to us on uh, 25th night, around uh, 11.45. Right. Uh, that's in uh, Walasmul and uh, Virakati area. Some people have been uh, stranded uh, due to floods, and uh, we, uh, I mean, uh, our troops uh, sent there and uh, start uh, uh, operations. And initially, we had uh, uh, say about uh, 500 numbers, but uh, with the intense uh, situation of uh, considering some of the areas as to how that has been affected, we had to increase the numbers uh, deployed. So as of yesterday evening. Uh, we had about uh, 1,700 troops on ground from the Army, this right. except uh, the Navy and the Air Force. Uh, Navy is also having around uh, 1,100 uh, of uh, their troops and uh, that consists of 117, if I may uh, rightly remember, 117 rescue teams of there. And uh, right. Air Force have uh, deployed uh, 11 uh, helicopters uh, plus uh, two transport uh, uh, carriers to transport uh, things from uh, Kogala to Ratmalada. Right. Uh, the other helicopters have been used to uh, transport uh, troops uh, to the ground where we cannot reach uh, by uh, uh, roads mm -hmm. and to transport uh, the naval uh, boats and uh, such items. And uh, in, I think uh, the media has also been assisted in, immensely by uh, by the forces to uh, to bring to the. Uh, attention of the public, what's going on, and uh, safety messages and so on. Um, I want to ask you, when you said that you responded to initially to the Walasmul Labiraketia area, where did you actually send the troops from? Uh, for us, we have our divisions deploy uh, in a number of places. In uh, uh, Gaul, we have uh, one of our divisions. And also we have uh, one of our divisions in uh, Hambantot area. Mm. So depending on the locations, uh, whatever the closest uh, camps or the division or the battalions, we can uh, muster our troops and send to this location. Mm -hmm. So these troops were sent from uh, uh, Gaul, uh, Busa, uh, 5 weight uh, division. I see. And, and they would have gone there by road, I suppose. Yes. Right. So you were fairly quickly able to, uh, to deploy people. Um, to, to help. Yes, uh, to tell you uh, for us now, all these 1,700 troops on ground are not uh, in one location. They no. have been deployed in all over the country. Right. So, depending on the requirement, the commander of the army had uh, decided to pull out uh, troops from uh, the places uh, where they have been deployed before and they were brought in and uh, deployed into the affected uh, areas. So, uh, Hemant, when we, the public, look at uh, this operation, we suddenly dawns on us, doesn't it, that it's um, a jolly good job that the army have got their little places all o all over the country because then they can uh, they can when it's needed they can uh, they can move rather quickly. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, I believe the public are very very grateful to the armed forces of this country for liberating this country, except certain NGOs and so certain. Politicians yes. who are who is going after them on a witch hunt. I think it's very, very sad. Today we saw, yesterday we saw how a member of the uh, armed forces, I think the, I think the Air Force, Force yeah. how he, how he succumbed uh, to death by a fall when he was trying to rescue some innocent, uh, innocent yes. civilian. He was going that extra, extra mile. Extra mile. 
So, I mean, we have to, the people must accept that armed forces are there, they have protected us in the past, they have come out and they're helping from this, from this disaster, I think, the only second to the tsunami disaster. Well, yes. I had never heard of such catastrophe uh, in the recent past anywhere in the world. Mm. Um, 464,477 people affected, 158 deaths, 88 injured and 108 people missing. So the death toll, Brigadier, is, can only go up. Uh, as per the figures given by the disaster management, uh, probably there is a possibility of uh, rising these uh, figures because the, now they say about uh, over 100 uh, have gone missing. Yeah. So we still do not know. Our uh, troops are on ground and they are doing all rescue and other relief uh, work. So we'll have to uh, wait. Right. Uh, I, I know that um, um, your commander wants you back as soon as possible. And uh, but uh, we know we thank you for the fact that you're going to spend uh, ten minutes with us, which has been another three minutes to go. Uh, but on behalf of our network, on behalf of our viewers, and I believe on behalf of the people of the country, uh, we want to appreciate and say thank you. Uh, it's not often that we're able to do it uh, in person, but here you are. And so thank you, uh, Brigadier, on behalf of all of us uh, for the absolutely sterling work that your troops are doing. Uh, thank you for us. Thank you. You know, we, we really do appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, and, um, you know, long may you be uh, granted all the benefits that uh, you need to carry out uh, uh, this kind of work. What, what, do you, what are you lacking? If you had an ideal scenario, what would you be lacking? Uh, to uh, say that uh, we don't have much of a problem of uh, equipment or whatever, but uh, whatever the things that we require, we have been, uh, I mean, mustering from the civilian sources uh, and from the other services. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, we have not uh, had that much of uh, difficulty in uh, doing our work on ground. In terms of, in, uh, of equipment? Required materials, equipment, because our troops have been trained on this uh, for us, so uh, we... So, the, uh, it's so wonderful to hear that uh, everything is hunky-dory, that you can move like that. You know, you're not waiting for... I, I remember years ago, I was in Africa, and uh, there was an incident in which somebody was shot, uh, and so we ran off to the local police station uh, and asked them to come. And they said, yes, we can, but we've got no petrol. So I'm so glad that we don't have that kind of situation with, with, uh, with our troops, because you all are ready and able to be moving instantly. Excited for us. That's why, I mean, I, I, as I said uh, early, uh, reaching Walasmula Virakati area quickly, uh, swiftly uh, when the information was given. And likewise, uh, the mustering troops from all over, the, we have the transport, we have no problem with the fuel or whatever, as you said. Yeah. And we are a well organized uh, body for us. Wonderful. It, it's excellent news, uh, uh, Brigadier. Uh, on behalf of the public, we also the, very grateful to the excellent service you are doing. I think the whole country. Is, is sort of hero worships the war heroes and we have again come out and shown what kind of a disciplined army we have and how they would go out and help irrespective of race, religion or any other division. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, and uh, Brigadier Roshan Senrata, thank you very much for being on Newsline. We'll be, um, we'll be happy to let you go because you are, after all, going out in the service of our nation. Uh, thank you. And on that note, we'll take a short break. Don't go away. Helping you stay connected. This is Newsline. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali. These are two different aspects that people will have to understand very clearly. The economy can be bad, but if you are managing that bad economy in a bad way, it becomes worse. Not only the politicians are to be blamed, the bureaucracy, the professionals, everybody, because everybody has to take them. It can be made right depending on who's handling the affairs. Governance is like a game of chess. To win, you have to make a move. Knowing which move to make comes with insight and knowledge. You make the wrong move, it's called... Face the Nation, Sandudang, 
रात्रि नवे आई न्यूज फर्स्ट न्यूज लाइन विथ फराज शौकुटाली वेलकम बैक एंड दिस इज ऑफ कोर्स न्यूज लाइन लाइव इज ऑलवेज फ्रॉम डॉस स्ट्रीट इन क्लबो Now then, um, we had um, Brigadier Roshan Singh Ratna, who's now uh, gone away to uh, join uh, his colleagues and uh, carry on with the relief effort. Um, hey, Manta, uh, you know, I I I heard what uh, Brigadier said and so on that they were able to move very quickly. But guess what? Did you did you notice what happens in our car parks and in our warehouses? The people just suddenly turn up. because they know that we too can move like that yes, yes, yes. Uh, and uh, yeah. uh, i mean i mean what the what citizens have been doing or the mt have been doing right throughout i mean i feel sometimes with the disasters follow uh, the mt because the you have been able to uh, to pick up uh, immediately when something happens and come to the aid of our nation so we are very grateful to your chairman and to the channel and to everyone with talent and specialized Shivan Daniels yes every day on some boat somewhere and try to master the, the people and it's very really unfortunate some people do not appreciate this yeah but it, it's it, everybody even my wife and my daughter uh, came and gave whatever that they could uh, to help the poor people who are suffering you yeah, thank you for that but just just want to to let you know amanta last friday Uh, at about three o'clock, uh, we uh, our, our our troops met at the boardroom, uh, and they heard that two hundred twenty odd people uh, had died, and that over fifty were missing. Uh, our board took a decision to start our Sahana Yatra relief work. Then the whole group and volunteers from the public worked round the clock with uh, and with the help of all sorts of people from all walks of life. um sent out over 55 big trucks to uh um uh, to work with the relief with, with relief goods uh, now that's not only good that's excellent yeah, i i, I believe sri lankans always respond to yes. disaster we have we have been living you know for the last so many years disaster after disaster followed us i remember when 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 the tsunami struck how soon people reach those destinations how sahana yatra and other river colonies you know seven to the point to note here is that the capital maharaj group is a private sector yeah. business house yeah. you know we don't have these uh, unlimited resources yeah. uh, to give our um, top troops our board of directors Uh, all these uh, fancy cars and so on i'm sure people have it they earn it but you know politicians uh, have it all too easy mm-hmm. and they don't seem to be delivering and and when you look at i'm not blaming we're not blaming the the floods on on politicians mm-hmm. but i'm trying to say is yeah. that that there is you know our our disaster uh, management center has uh, accepted that they are not really ready they don't have stocks of blankets they don't have stocks of basic matters that will be uh, needed in in any form of disaster situation mm-hmm. but what on earth are they doing when there is no disaster going on what are they doing during the normal time yeah. you know um, unfortunately uh, for us our politicians you know they have a they are a different cult they for them most of them what is important is what you can make out of that whole situation yeah so so therefore they are, their philosophy is not to help the people not to help their voters but to help themselves yeah so in this situation very few people i saw i should like to mention also mm. uh tevara peruma mp for kalutara i mean i saw loads and loads of good uh, messages respect of political politi- politics they have they have uh, they have he praised on him but where are the others now when the corona disaster came some of those some of those politicians whom were helped by them tv and never were seen on uh, never, never never 
one on, on they were not on the scene so therefore i mean i i believe uh, i believe so therefore we don't do not we should not think of the politicians of this country and their failure but we also think we also should should applaud what the mtv has done what the capital maharaja has done what you all have done in order to ensure that people have get some relief and uh, you know um um uh I just want to read out this little message. Uh, it's not little, it's a very important message. Uh, news shows clearly the appalling state of the flood victims, as well as the hard work done by Team News First. My heart goes to the affected people and all of you who are out there. We are today, undoubtedly, a self-motivated humanitarian team, doing our best with the help of the public. Our group and I are extremely proud of the contribution, uh, contributions made by each and every one of you. And God bless you all. That, that was a message uh, from the chairman of our group uh, sent to uh, our people who are all, they're all self-starters. They didn't wait for anyone to tell them to do this, yeah. that or the other. Uh, and so it's, it's essential that when we, uh, when we look at these um, um, disasters, and uh, how we react and how we perceive uh, the relief effort and so on, uh, that we must really uh, appreciate the fact that our, our forces, for example, are doing what they can do. Yeah. Um, and so it uh, brings me nicely to this uh, topic um, that has been doing the rounds in the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. If you notice, uh, the British Prime Minister, Theresa May, uh, says that uh, she's going to remove uh, the uh, sorry, if I can borrow that here, mm -hmm. uh, it says here, human rights laws will be suspended on the battlefield. Theresa May announces today, and she says, and she said, it will finally end the industry of vexatious claims against the troops whilst they're actually on yeah. the ground. Um, why is that? Why don't you think we should have something like that here? Yeah, for us, when I got this message from you. I did not believe a word that was written on it. And then I questioned you whether it's true. Yeah. And I'm so happy that the British Prime Minister Theresa May has realized that there's only one way to fight terrorism. Terrorism is a scourge and it, it has killed thousands of people all over the world. And today, few days ago, 19 innocent children are killed in Britain. Now. At that time, before that happened, they were, they were, they were, they were uh, from the pulpit. They were sermonizing about the human rights laws, and they never. You would see that the BBC never called the LTT a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. They always called them liberation fighters. Yeah. And all those, all those, all those, all those uh, representatives that came from the from the ministers downwards. They always were sympathetic towards the LTT. Mm -hmm. They always thought that is a grave disaster that we managed to uh, destroy the LTT. Where they would, they would, they are really fighting for the cause of the Tamil. No, they were out and out terrorists, and there is no way in which you could negotiate with with terrorism. Now, Theresa May, I mean, and other other European countries have taken such a long time. To realize this, it took mm. 19. It it has to uh, it, the terrorists had to blow out and kill 19 children. And then, but it's very very important. Theresa May says that human rights laws be suspended on battlefield. May announces today it will finally end the industry of vexatious claims against against the British troops. Isn't that what is happening in Sri Lanka? When our troops liberated this country, forget about the politician, forget about who was their uh, command in them. They gave their life and they liberated this country. And for us to bring them, haul, haul them before kind of courts, kind of kangaroo courts that the UN wants us to sit up here is, is a tragedy. And we have to, we have to, uh, the government must now decide under no circumstances shall we have these uh, these uh, kangaroo courts that appear because they come here they come here so biased and the diaspora is so clever in order to have people 
train people to cry, sob, and talk and say various things. Yes, um, as you and, said, and, and uh, uh, part of what Prime Minister Theresa May said yesterday uh, was that our armed forces are the best in the world, and the men and women who serve make huge sacrifices to keep yeah. Britain safe and that her government will ensure that their troops are recognized for the incredible job they do. Yeah. And in Sri Lanka, our, our troops uh, do an absolutely incredible job. I, I believe, I believe mm. Prasamme has to compare, I think our troops are even better than the British troops. What we have done, the humanitarian sacrifices, the manner in which they, 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 they liberated the Tamil people, it's unbelievable. They no absolute no genocide. People came to this side and they were embraced by the army. They were they were given food, water. I know when I was in when I was in uh, Italy, a certain uh, important army uh, major, the, the brigade telephoned me and told me, "Sir, please talk to Mr. Basil Rajapaksa. There is no water in this." And I spoke to Basil Rajapaksa immediately. Water uh, there was water, and the army was uh, army were carrying the children. So therefore, it's a heinous crime committed by this this NGO wallas who are who wanted to make money out of the misery of those armed forces, and then they they want to prosecute them. I am I am I am. Well, decided. the problem is is so serious that uh, no less than the British Prime Minister yeah. ha has led a campaign yeah. to remove certain elements of the certain components of human rights laws, whilst the troops are on the battlefield. Yeah. It doesn't give the troops a, a carte blanche yeah. to go and commit all sorts of atrocities, yeah. but they can go out there in the battlefield, yeah. in the line of duty, without having to worry about yeah. being pursued for the rest of their lives yeah. by a group of lawyers yeah. who are, are clearly making money out yeah. there. Absolutely true. Now, what has happened to our troops? I, you know, Faraz, I'm defending, I've died, deserve to defend some army person, intelligence unit pe uh, person, were supposed to have abducted Keith Noya. Absolutely false claim. They, the, the, the police, the CID, had been directed by the political hierarchy to some or other get these people, even without evidence, remand them and get them to make a confession. What are the confession they want? They are not interested with the Keith was abducted. They were not uh, 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 interested with the Lassan uh, Dikramati was killed. They were not interested. They are not interested with the Parthen was assaulted. They are only interested in getting them to make a confession, make a statement. As a lawyer, that, yeah. as a lawyer, it's very serious claim that you are making. Uh, I'm very serious. Uh, I, 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 have got, I, got affidavits. Some... I have got affidavits. I have got. I can prove. I have got affidavits where they have shown that they said you make this statement and then you are released uh, on bail. Um, they, they no inquiry. They no investigation. They take some telephones and try to uh, try to say that these telephones are used were used at that time when Keith Noah was here and there. Keith Noah says openly. To the Lanka Guardian, these are not the people who abducted me. Mm -hmm. I am not coming to Sri Lanka. When the correct people are arrested and brought, I'll come on my own. I don't want money from the government. I'll come and, and on, my, on my own and identify them. But these poor, poor, but, uh, poor uh, soldiers, uh, yes, I uh, demand. But uh, at the same time, we, uh, you know, whilst we are very amenable, our, our corporates, many other corporates have joined in this uh, disaster relief effort yeah. and we appreciate all that but we also have a legitimate expectation of living an equitable and uh, an equitable yeah, lifestyle yeah. for everybody not yeah. just for the privileged few right uh, right but everybody in sri lanka yeah. everybody in sri lanka yeah. and uh, in that say, in that context uh, especially being in the media and um, uh, with the close uh, uh, association this group has with yeah. Lasanta Vikramatunga. Yeah. There are many people out here in our within our right. group, um, uh, up and coming young journalists who yeah. look who look at this thing and wonder what on earth is happening yeah. to Lasanta Vikramatunga's case. Absolutely true because they Lasanta they the the investigators do not, are not interested in finding finding out who killed Lasanta Vikramatunga. They are only interested in getting them to swear an affidavit, swear a statement saying that so and so gave these orders. So therefore, 
the entire i mean the armed forces have been penalized for doing their job and for not i mean they have not committed any one of those offenses that they claim to have been committed now the, the, for instance this uh, famous ethnic decoder now he, now how many 18 months they were in remand they could have got out in 3 months if they make us made a statement i kill ethnic decoder on the on the instruction of so and so but they did not do that so i am very grateful to them they did not want to make a false statement similarly i think theresa may has set an example i think lalita thoram modeli great lalita thoram modeli first person who realized this immediately after the first uh, uh, the first ilam wo he brought in a uh, he brought in a bill amnesty bill so that the no, none of none of the army persons could be prosecuted we should have mind the rajabak should have brought the we, same bill we very much uh, you ought to make the point that this this rule uh, suspending the human rights uh, couple of uh, the uh, components is during the, the battle yeah that's what during i said the battle yeah, not not otherwise that that, yes. that is why i'm saying now pratapas standards in coming to coming to that that's right pratapas but here the people who fought the intelligence unit to fought and who who made so many discoveries who made inroad to make this make kalambu safe i in remand and this is this happened during the during the battle so my position i think now everyone will follow and pray and worship the resume and accept this so we have now a reason for us to pass laws uh pass laws preventing any any kind of witch hunt against armed forces who liberated this country otherwise what will happen that we have to when any suit theresa may uh they they could they could they could protect their armed forces in the battlefield but when it comes to sri lanka we have to prosecute them so this is very 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 well, reasonable yes uh, and uh, sri lanka uh, the, the people of this, yeah. this country of course yeah. uh, not going to allow that to happen yeah. we, we, that, 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 we we have to ensure that that uh, that have happens and that doesn't happen and the in, in important thing that this this uh, theresa may talks about in very few words very important point this is the vex this is the industry industry of human rights ngo wallas they make millions of tons of money she calls them vex uh, yeah they they, they call, and they try to find out they try to file cases and every single case they file they get paid in dollars so this is a thing that must be must be must be exposed this witch hunt must stop at stopped. the expense of at the expense of our, our army and our armed forces well we have a uh, news uh, um, you know coming in saying that the depression in the eastern bay of bengal uh, intensified uh, um, and um, cyclonic storms you know is moving away <laughs> from the island showers thunder showers will occur at times uh, in the meantime Uh, 464,477 people have been affected. 158 people, unfortunately, died, and uh, 88 people have been injured. When 108 people are still reported as missing and unaccounted for. Hey, Manta Wanakul Suri, thank you very much for having you been on uh, Newsline, and um, we uh, we will bring you the news as it happens. Stay tuned to our network. on uh, tv and on radio and uh, will help you uh, stay safe and uh, help those who are affected and need help in the meantime our troops out there uh, they're helping in whatever way they can and so are the armed forces and so is the force of uh, our group the news first team are out there uh, doing their bit too on that note uh, that's it uh, from uh, newsline on the 29th of may 2017 take care God bless.